I do not say this lightly at all. Mortal Kombat 1 is going to change forever, and I and I quite literally mean that. With Takeda dropping in just a few weeks right after EVO, he brings not only a new character in of himself, but a giant new update to Mortal Kombat 1 that'll change the game. It'll change the metal. It'll change the matchup. It'll change the moves of the characters. It'll change everything. Whether your main character has been touched or not, again, this is going to change the game. And I don't think people are understanding how big of a change this is going to be. One step here who covers Mortal Kombat 1 and other fighting game stuff. So if you enjoy this kind of thing, subscribe here for more and let's get into this update for Mortal Kombat 1 that is coming with Takeda. First of all, Takeda's gonna be playable at EVO 2024, July 19th. I will be there. So if you wanna see Takeda gameplay early, stay tuned for more. But Ed Boone over on Twitter slash X made a giant thread going over and teasing us with the changes that are coming to Mortal Kombat 1. And we have to talk about it. We have to discuss what he's teasing us with because with what we got here isn't even all of it he ends with like oh and more so let's talk about what he has said firstly he says this takita build will also contain upcoming bug fixes and a balanced patch with a significant improvement to roster fighters like natara is getting some serious buffs he says as you can see he capitalizes the word serious so he is not saying natara is going to get a buff he said natara is going to get a serious overhaul and a serious buff lee may is getting a new pop-up combo string and that's really cool that lee may is still getting more love because she also got buffed in the most recent patch from Mortal Kombat. Quan Chi is getting buffed. He's getting a new portal boot kick. Like he needs more portal boot kicks. And Scorpion is getting a buff to his enhanced teleport. So for those that have been begging for a Scorpion buff, here you go. But the biggest part, the biggest part that I love about this first thread is crazy buff to uppercut jump. For those that don't know, because no one uses it, if you punish an opponent with an uppercut, you can spend two bars, go in the air, continue the combo. Again, no one knows about it because no one does it. I got a few videos on explaining how to do it and what it does. I've never seen it in a fight and I'm not even joking. So the crazy buff we're getting to the uppercut jump makes me believe either it's gonna become one bar rather than two bars, so less expensive. And if they really wanna be crazy, uh, they might just make it free. Like, hey, if you really wanna punish your opponent and you're good at it, here's a free way to do it. I doubt they'll do that, but I mean, even going down to one bar, making it just one bar to uppercut, cancel, punish your opponent would be huge. We've been begging for that since the game dropped. Like that has been in the game since the game released. And we're like, this is just too expensive to ever do. Why would we do this? So no one does it. So a crazy buff to that is actually probably the biggest part about this entire thing in my opinion not only that but takita build also has some buffs coming to cameo fighters including the first things first frost new ambush move uh hello new ambush moves to any cameo will absolutely change the game mortal kombat one's new gimmick their new mechanic that they revolve their entire fighting game around is cameos and so when you give any kind of cameo a new move let alone a new ambush move for those that don't know ambush moves are the moves that can come out while you're doing a combo that is going to change everything like what if this new ambush move that frost is going to be getting uh, now we're going to see a frost meta which we've never seen before she has a low frost move she's got the frost ball which isn't that great because it's so slow so maybe they'll change that too but as of right now she's at least getting a whole new move and it's an ambush move the same thing goes for scorpion cameo we already got the ambush move the fire breath but to get another ambush move is is i'm gonna sound like a broken record going to change the game i love using scorpion as a cameo but there are other cameos that in my opinion do what he does just a bit better so i'm really hoping this changes that sector is gonna have missile improvements so that's cool cyrax is gonna have bomb improvements and goro is gonna have says many so more than one many new ambush cancel options frost scorpion sector cyrax goro all getting revamped a couple of them getting new ambush moves the cameo system in general seems to be getting a whole crazy overhaul and because Mortal Kombat 1 quite literally revolves around their cameo system. This is huge. And that's just a few of them because Ed Boon goes on to say and much more buffs slash improvements not listed here. So there are going to be again likely more characters and more cameos that are going to receive buffs maybe new ambush moves stuff like that just these five cameos five characters three you know four characters alone is gonna change the game and he says and much more buffs improvements not listed here so more characters more cameos getting buffed getting changed again the whole game the whole game is gonna be different <laughs> enjoy the game you have now because it's not gonna be the same here soon and then he goes on to say not too long ago we asked for feedback on which five mk1 roster fighters you felt could use the most love thank for the cameos which five needed the most love well the roster fighters they seem to appear on many of your lists including garris havoc shang Tsung, sub-zero quan chi and natara that's kind of insinuating that those 
those characters if not more are going to also receive uh, many improvements many buffs and i'm sure you guys have watched all the pro players tier lists most of the time uh, all the higher end players they're putting Gearus, Havoc, Shang Tsung, Sub-Zero, Quan Chi, Natara kind of near the bottom and even though a couple of these characters have received small buffs in the most recent patches they haven't really uh, tuned them enough in the way that has pushed them past you know B tier, A tier, whatever. They're still kind of at the bottom. My third main in Mortal Kombat 1 is Garrus so I would love to see what he's got going on and what kind of buffs he's gonna get. And as we continue down this thread from Ed Boon guys let me know down below are you excited for this update? Uh, what characters, what cameo? are you excited to see improved and buffed and like i said this is going to change the game so if you don't play mortal kombat 1 right now are you going to get back into it with this update let me know your thoughts down below as we near the end here ed boon says feedback i was fully expecting more ambush moves to dominate this survey but at the end of the day it seems like more fighters roster or cameos always seem to be the most wanted yeah dude the community all we want is more and more we want more fighters we want more cameos No, a lot of people don't like the cameo system but they you know they say well if i have to deal with it at least give us more cameo options and i agree give me both give me more fighters give me more cameo fighters it was a pretty close pull with you know more ambush moves and more cameo fighters but with how awesome the dlc cameos have been tremor chameleon movado we just want more cameo fighters and with cameos getting updates like this frost scorpion goro getting new ambush moves yeah give us more cameos and make the cameos we already got even better a couple more notes from this thread it says finally a big thank you to all the mk fans who keep our game Games among the top selling even nine months after a launch so for all those that say mortal kombat 1 is dead dead game well guess what nine months later it's still in the top selling games overall like it is a triple a title I, it definitely got its problems i'm not trying to justify mortal kombat 1's problems i know that but there is no arguing it's mortal kombat it is one of the top selling fighting games ever the name alone sells so anyways that's kind of cool this right here is just a sneak peek out the the big improvements and buffs and the update that the game is going to be getting when Takeda drops. Speaking of Takeda, here's another sneak peek at an intro he's got with Smoke. Let's check it out. You could just smoke bomb out of here and miss this fight. Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, he's playable on evil, baby. And this is the intro animation too. Sick flip, baby, sick flip. Oh, love that. Takeda just looks so good. He just looks so good. I loved him in an MKX. And I cannot wait to see how he plays in Mortal Kombat 1. Looks like we're also getting a free Golden Boy Johnny costume. Not only are we getting a Takeda update with buffs and improvements, but what about the rest of the future when it comes to Mortal Kombat 1? Well, what lies beyond the horizon? Join us at San Diego Comic-Con 2024 to see what the future holds for MK1. So, uh blatantly up front at san diego comic-con 2024 we are going to find out what year two consists uh for mortal kombat one so marketing your calendars friday july 26 at 2 p.m uh, pacific time here's my guess here's my guess and let me know yours down below but here's my guess uh we're gonna be getting a combat pack two i think that's pretty obvious we're likely gonna get a story expansion possible new game modes new game features i'm truly convinced that you know what this whole buff and improvements are doing I think the game's gonna get a complete overhaul overall. Can we finally get rooms, please? God, we need rooms so bad. God damn it. If we have to wait a year after release to get rooms, we're likely gonna get some returning characters in Combat Pack 2. We're likely gonna get some guest characters. I know the leaks, Ghostface, Conan. Can we get somebody cool, please? Like Doom Slayer, Master Chief, I don't care. Somebody cool, please. Again, I will be at Evo and I will be live streaming the Takeda gameplay that I get to have. I'll be streaming the Takeda gameplay from anybody else as well and showing you guys everything you need to see at evo so if you want to see that stay tuned for more if you're excited for the future of mortal kombat 1 and other fighting games you guys know what to do subscribe here for more i'll keep you posted on everything you need to know entertainment news reactions everything you want turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more mortal kombat news guys reactions and more